Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Drew coming at you, and today we're going to talk about the latest picks in the Premier League that is coming up this weekend. It's going to kick off on a Friday, and it's going to go throughout the weekend. So it's going to be a big weekend of action, match day 31, and a lot of implications uh, for these games will be on the race for the top four, the race for the top six, and the relegation places going forward in the Premier League. We're only down to the last eight games in the season. So things are going quickly right now in the Premier League. And I'm sure if you are a Premier League better, football better, soccer better, you're going to love these last uh, last few weeks of the regular season or the season uh, in the Premier League and the seasons uh, with the leagues throughout Europe. Now, of course, the Champions League is powering on. We saw games on Tuesday and Wednesday night in the Champions League. And tonight, I'm coming to you on Thursday. You're going to see games in the Europa League. So those are all great games to wager on. And, of course, you can go over to Z-Code System and use the great tools that we have there to get help with your picks on those games that are coming at you. Now, specifically, specifically, we're going to be focusing on the Premier League Match Day 31. Um, I focus most of my uh, tips and our blogs and these videos here on YouTube on the Premier League because it is the most watched league in the world. It's the most watched um, soccer league in the world, and it has a lot of, arguably, the best players and best teams. And, you know, it, it has a lot of fast-paced, high-energy action, and that is what draws a lot of betters to watching it. And also, it helps that uh, the Premier League is uh, has that common English language um, that a lot of people speak, and um, the common language that is a second language for people around the world. So, it is a reason why so many people bet on the Premier League and watch it around the world. So, we're going to focus on Match Day Thirty One today, and uh, we'll probably focus on a few a uh, few games. Um, I believe I only put three possibly four in the blog. Now, I don't even remember um, when I wrote it up yesterday. Uh, you can see it there on your screen, the blog. And the big game this weekend is Tottenham Hotspur hosting Manchester United. Now, you can see from that image that Tottenham Hotspur uh, went to Manchester United earlier this season and won 6-1 to one in a massive, massive game back in October. Now, we're going to see a completely different game this time around, and we'll talk more about that in just a second. Um, but these two teams in very different form right now, uh, especially with Spurs uh, kind of ebbing and flowing and coming off of a 2-2 draw with Newcastle United last weekend. So, um, of course, when we look at the scores, uh, the predictions, that is, the picks, we're going to be looking at the Soccer Buddy tool, which you can find in the VIP at Z Code System. You can also download the app, so you can check that out. Uh, of course, you can always go over to Z Code System and get the other picks that we post there and here on the YouTube channel, and uh, you'll be all up to date. Now, before I go any further, please, if you're watching this here on YouTube, subscribe to the channel so you get updates every time we post something here on YouTube. Uh, we bring you Premier League picks, we bring you NHL picks, NBA picks, Major League Baseball picks, so you get all kinds of great sport, sports, and it's very diverse here on the Z Code System channel. And also, do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button and like the video. And uh, yeah, tell your friends. So guys, we're going to look at these games coming up this weekend. Now we're going to start on Saturday. We're going to, you know, there's a game going on on Friday night. It's going to be Wolverhampton Wanderers visiting Fulham. That's a huge six point game down at the bottom of the table. Uh, but we're going to we're going to skip over that one. You can go over to the VIP and get that uh, that pick on the Soccer Buddy app. And we're going to focus on Saturday to begin with. And there are, I believe, four games going on on Saturday. Do you know what? My apologies. It's actually three games going on on Saturday, as you can see there, right there. Um, now, I've written about two of these on the blog. Now, I'm giving you something special here on the video, giving you that extra pick there of Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Chelsea going to Selhurst Park to play Crystal Palace. So let's start there with that game, and we'll talk about Chelsea playing Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace, excuse me, Chelsea, that is. Chelsea, under the management of Thomas Tuchel, who came in, Back in, I think it was February now, uh, as we go back, and they were just on a fantastic run of form under the manager. Uh, he really turned them around. They started scoring goals more frequently, and more importantly, they were keeping goals out on the defensive end. Uh, last weekend, though, Chelsea did suffer their first defeat under Thomas Tuchel. Uh, it was a, uh, I believe, 5-2 loss to West Brom. Unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. West Brom, who are, at the moment, going to be relegated, um, somehow going to Stamford Bridge and winning 5-2. Chelsea looking very off-color on the day. And they played most of the match with 10 men after Thiago Silva was sent off in the first half. So uh, there was that. 
Um, but overall, Chelsea were really, really bad on the day. Now, that's probably not going to happen again. Chelsea did play on Wednesday night in the Champions League quarterfinals, first leg. They played against FC Porto and were uh, really just eased past Porto 2-0. Uh, Mason Mount didn't show up getting the goals in that game. And Chelsea looked really good um, going forward. Now, of course, I'm a Liverpool supporter, so I'm supporting Liverpool um, in the Champions League, of course, and, and hoping that they can win the Champions League for the second time in three years. Um, but it doesn't look good for them. And I'm going to have to say that if there is another team um, outside of Borussia Dortmund, um, that I would hope to win the Champions League right now. I guess it would be Chelsea, um, just because I'm uh, not a fan of Man City or PSG uh, with their petrol bucks that support them and um, help them out. But uh, so I digress. Um, but we've got this game here, Chelsea taking on Crystal Palace, and we've got a soccer buddy score prediction of 1-1 at full time. Now, this isn't a bad score prediction for this game. As you can see there, we've got a hot trend. We are five for six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Chelsea in the last six games. Now, keep in mind, until that West Brom game, Chelsea hadn't been giving up many goals under Tuchel. Um, we were seeing a lot of games played by Chelsea with under 2.5 goals under Tuchel's management. So this game could be a very low scoring game. I don't expect it to go back or uh, to repeat what happened in the previous week. And Chelsea's defense has been really good this season overall um, since Tuchel took over. Uh, Chris Pass, they don't score a lot of goals. They are lower mid table. They're not doing anything special. They're not fighting for Europe, nor are they going to be relegated. So they're basically just moving towards the end of that regular season, uh, the end of the season, and uh, you know we'll reassess at the end of this year, possibly with a new manager as Roy Hodgson's contract comes to an end. So uh, you know we haven't really seen much from them. They haven't been that great this season, and uh, they're minus 16 in goal difference. So I'm not really seeing them. Um, I, I don't really necessarily think that this 1-1 scoreline is going to happen. I think it could because Chelsea are coming off of this uh, Champions League match in midweek. But I think that they should be able to win this game. I do think under 2.5 goals uh, is a great bet. So I'm going to go Chelsea on this one and under 2.5 goals. Now, moving on to the next game, we've got Leeds United taking on Manchester City at Manchester City. Uh, in the reverse fixture this season, uh, the game finished 1-1 at Ellen Road with uh, City scoring the first half through Raheem Sterling. Uh, Leeds came back in the second half, getting a goal through Rodrigo Marino and uh, pulled off a 1-1 draw in a very entertaining game. Now, if you want to watch entertaining games, you've got to watch Leeds. Um, they score goals, they concede goals, and it's a lot of fun to watch if you're a neutral fan. Uh, definitely expect them to give up goals to Manchester City. They also are coming off of a quarterfinal Champions League game this week. Or this past week uh, on Tuesday, they were able to defeat Borussia Dortmund 2-1 at home. Uh, very good game, and that uh, should be a good second leg tie next week in Dortmund. But uh, right now, Pep Guardiola possibly going to be rotating his side. He needs to maybe rest a few key players. Now, this is a very good Manchester City team, 14 points ahead of Manchester United in the race for the Premier League title. And they are, by all intents and purposes, going to win the league this season. Uh, they are the champions elect. Now, off the top of my head, I think they just need something around eight more points, is it? 11 more points to seal the title. Uh, and that is if they continue to win and Manchester United continue to win this season. And they can wrap up the title uh, in their next match against Chelsea, which I believe is in early May. Um, I think Manchester United, or sorry, excuse me. I think Manchester City are going to win this game. Uh, hands down, Leeds' defense is hit and miss. And I like that over 2.5 goals in this game. It should be an entertaining game for neutral. So if you're looking for a game to watch this weekend, by all means, check this one out. Now, Liverpool taking on Aston Villa at Anfield. Excuse me. Uh, Liverpool taking on Aston Villa at Anfield. Now, cast your minds back to earlier this season when Liverpool were absolutely thrashed by um, Aston Villa. Aston Villa won that game 7-2. 7 to two. Seven to two, Aston Villa defeated Liverpool earlier this season. Um, a ridiculous game. Um, and it was really that game uh, that really showed us that Liverpool were in trouble this season. Um, and, and they are the reigning champions. Uh, they are well off the pace for the title. And they are only really hope is to 
seal a top four finish. Uh, I believe they're three points back of West Ham in the race for fourth place. So Liverpool could not only not win the title this year, not not repeat as champions, uh, but they could f- miss out on uh, Champions League football for next season and Euro- uh, Europa League football for next season. So, um, which would be detrimental uh, to to the team, I think, going forward, uh, at least going into next season in their uh, attempt to recruit players. I think they need to really uh, rebuild, uh, excuse me, rebuild uh, quite a bit of this team um, uh, going into next season. Obviously, injuries have played a huge part, but. You know, you've got to overcome uh, injuries, uh, even if you, uh, it's a lot of key players that uh, that go down. Now, so Liverpool winning early this, or sorry, losing early this season, seven to two to Aston Villa. Uh, the Reds are also coming off of a Champions League loss to Real Madrid, three one, first leg quarterfinal, uh, and they're behind the eight ball in that. That's their only chance to win silverware uh, left this season. Aston Villa are coming off of a win last weekend against Fulham. 3-1, uh, very good game for Aston Villa. Uh, they had been playing pretty poorly before that. They have been without captain Jack Grealish, who is their um, their do-everything attacking player, likely to move on to another team in the summer. Uh, huge transfer uh, is potential uh, for Grealish, possibly to Man United. Man City are in the, uh, in the talks there uh, to possibly land him. Um, but he's been injured over the last six to seven games. He was expected to come back last weekend, did not. Uh, but they were able to pick up that win against Fulham. Now they will need him, uh, you know, to if they want to to win again against Liverpool. I don't think that without Grealish, uh, this Aston Villa team uh, wins this game uh, against Liverpool. Now Liverpool have lost six straight home games in the Premier League, which is absolutely ridiculous, absolutely insane that has happened. Um, I don't think that they're going to make it a seven. Uh, straight league games. And again, I, I really think that if Grealish plays, Aston Villa will play really well uh, or play decent. Um, if he doesn't play, I think Liverpool will um, will take uh, this game by the scruff of the neck and somehow see out a victory. Um, if you go back to the, the game back in October, uh, Grealish had two goals and three assists in that 7-2 beatdown of the champions. So um, I don't expect that to happen. And I could see um, this game being decided by a penalty. Uh, this game is uh, going to be close, I think under 2.5 goals, and uh, Liverpool to edge uh, Aston Villa. But again, like I say, keep an eye on if Grealish plays. I think that he could make a big difference. But again, also keep in mind, he's coming back from six to seven games out, so is going to be a little bit off of the pace uh, for this game. Now, let's take a look at one more game this week, uh, this weekend that is, and we're going to look at a game on Sunday, and that game is going to be the game between... Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester United that I alluded to earlier with the blog. Okay, so here are the games for Sunday. Now, this is a little bonus for you uh, that you won't get from the blog. You've got these picks from the soccer buddy there I've given you uh, for the other games going on on Sunday. So a little wink, wink there that you get some extra picks for this weekend, uh, courtesy of our YouTube channel. And so, but the game I'm going to really focus on here, and it's this game right here. It's the game played uh, that's going to be played between Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester United in London at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And you can see there is a score prediction there of 2-1. And to be honest, I think that is a a, a pretty good scoreline uh, pick. Um, Spurs, like we we saw in the picture earlier, they won 6-1 earlier this season against uh, Manchester United. Now, cast your minds back to October uh, it might be difficult, but cast your minds back to then, and we saw two very different teams at that time. Manchester United were coming off of playing in the delayed Europa League uh, knockout stages in August, and they started the season very slowly, Manchester United, and they were very poor playing at home uh, beginning of the season. Spurs started very, very fast. Um, Spurs were actually, uh, they've played a lot of games this season because they had to play in the Europa League qualifying rounds. And in the early part of the season, that kind of helped them build up a lot of momentum. And Spurs were great uh, for the first half of the season. It was around Christmas time, uh, maybe a little bit before that, that they really fell off the pace. And we were talking back then about, hey, this could be Spurs' year to finally win the Premier League title. And uh, Jose Mourinho was doing some great things. Uh, now we're not. We're not talking about that. We're, we're thinking Spurs might not even uh, make the top five. Um, and there is um, conjecture that Mourinho could be sacked at the end of the season um, after really failing to produce much 
you know, uh, okay, they're in the Carabao Cup final uh, coming up later this month against Manchester City. Um, and I, I think he's really um, failed uh, to do what was hoped. Um, he, he's he's made them semi contenders at times. They've they've won some games. They're out of the Europa League already this season. Uh, a shock defeat to Dinamo Zagreb um, in the uh, last sixteen, and um, I think we could really see him be. Um, dismissed at the end of the season and Spurs go in a different direction. Um, in true Mourinho fashion, he's uh, he's picked out one player, Deli Alley, and, and kind of, you know, marginalized him. Um, he's also, uh, you know, done his typical, his typical shtick of um, uh, unsettling the squad and making it, uh, you know, making it very combative. So um, I think that there could be a, a good chance that he is dismissed at the end of the season. I believe, um, checking this morning, he's second right now in uh, odds uh, as most likely to be sacked at the end of the season. Um, but uh, we have this game here at Manchester United. Uh, they're actually playing tonight in the Europa League. They're going to be playing tonight uh, at Old Trafford uh, here in Manchester uh, against Granada uh, from Spain. Granada in their first ever Europa League campaign. Um, and I think Manchester United are going to win that game. And I think that they're going to use that momentum to uh, pick up a win against Spurs this weekend. And actually, what I could also see is I could see this game also ending in a draw. Um, United coming maybe a little bit fatigued into this game. They've got a few little, uh, little bit of injuries there. Um, Spurs don't have injuries um, at the moment. But again, they're coming off of a 2-2 draw last weekend with Newcastle United, a game they should have won. A game that they shouldn't have had uh, difficulty winning. I mean, thinking about the talent um, that Spurs have with Harry Kane, Hugh Minson, um, and uh, the rest of those players um, in that team, Gareth Bale there. Um, I, just, I think it's the management that is holding them back. <clears throat> Excuse me, holding them back. And um, I think that uh, under previous manager, Mauricio Pochettino, who last night won in the Champions League quarterfinals with uh, Paris Saint-Germain, um, I think that they would be doing far better uh, with the talent that he has at his disposal. So um, to be honest, I like that 2-1 scoreline there. Manchester United picking up a win by any means necessary, possibly a penalty. Bruno Fernandes to score. I think that could happen as well. Um, or I can see this being a score draw between these two teams. And don't be surprised if Mourinho parks the bus, um, packs in the defense there around the 18-yard box. We've seen him do that a lot against the top four, five, six teams this year. He's done it against Liverpool twice, um, and it didn't work. Uh, he's done it against Chelsea. He's done it against uh, Manchester City. It didn't work at one point, but uh, then failed to work at another time. So I see him parking the bus and Manchester United uh, camping out around that 18-yard box. And uh, it's I think it's going to be very different, very, very different than that game back in October. All right, guys. So those are our picks this week here on Z-Code System. Thanks for tuning into the YouTube channel. Again, please subscribe to the channel and smash that thumbs up button and like the video and tell all your friends check everything out go over to the vip uh, get all the picks not just for the premier league, not just for the premier league but for all the other leagues that we showcase there and of course check out the blogs to read up there's a lot more information there that i put into the blogs and also the other blogs with uh, the nba picks the major league baseball picks the nhl picks all the other picks that we put up and um i just noticed um that uh, our our latest nba blog was posted and there's just a few weeks left in the NBA season. I can't believe it's already early April. Unbelievable uh, NBA season, regular season that is, is almost over. And the football season in Europe is almost over as well. So guys, uh, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time here on Z Code System on YouTube.